Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. In this video, we'll show you how to find physical items on the library's shelves using a call number. A call number is a unique code given to each item in a library. You'll see these numbers on a sticker on the spine of the book or DVD. Call numbers are used to group together resources on similar topics. That's why you'll find books on the same subject side by side on the shelf. Call numbers also act like a home address for the book. Not only do they allow you to find the book on the shelf more easily, but because library materials are shelved using the call number, they always end up back in the same location. So how exactly do you find out what the call number for a particular book is? You'll find the call number using the library search, which we call Catalyst. When you find the print book or DVD that you want, look at the record. You'll see a line that reads, available at Loyalist College Library main stacks, followed by the call number in brackets. Remember, neither the barcode on the front of the book or the ISBN will help you to find the book on the shelf. You need that call number. If you're having trouble finding it, ask library staff for help. One of the most common questions we get in the library is, what do all of the letters and numbers in a call number mean? There are different systems used to create call numbers. You might have heard of the Dewey Decimal System, which is very common in school and public libraries. Most academic libraries, including the Parrot Center, use another system called the Library of Congress System, which we sometimes shorten to LC. You don't need to know exactly what all of the numbers and letters mean in order to use a call number, but understanding a little bit about them can make it less confusing. All LC call numbers start with one to three letters. These letters tell us what the subject of the book is. The first letter tells us the broad topic, and the second letter gives us more detail. For example, R is medicine, and RC is internal medicine. The numbers give us even more detail about the topic. RC numbers ranging from 435 to 571 are for books on psychiatry. Next, you'll see a period, usually followed by another letter and more numbers. These letters and numbers tell us the author's last name, or the title of the book if we don't know who the author is. The final line is the year of publication. Altogether, these make up the call number. Remember, you don't need to know exactly what all of the letters and numbers mean in order to use a call number. Speaking of which, how do you use a call number to find a book? Call numbers can look intimidating, but if you know your numbers and your alphabet, you can find your book. We promise. Let's use the call number example from earlier. Start by reading your call number from left to right and find the first letter. In the Parrot Center, there are letters on top of the shelves that show you what range is in each row of books. For example, the letters on top of the first shelf read A to DK. That means if your call number starts with a letter between A and DK, it will be in that row of shelves. This call number will be found on the shelves labeled R to RC. Call numbers beginning with a single letter come before call numbers with a second letter, and the second letters are always arranged in alphabetical order. So, R comes before RA, then RB, RC, and so on. Once you're in the correct letter area, look at the numbers. The first row of numbers is read as one number, and they are in order from smallest to largest. So RC 440 comes after RC 90 and before RC 900. The next part of the call number is read like a decimal, and some call numbers do include a period. So RC 440T69 comes before RC 440T7. This part can be a bit confusing, so if you need some extra help, let library staff know. Lastly, many call numbers also include the year of publication, which will be the very last line. In the Parrot Center, we have a smaller collection of books, so you might not always need to use this part of the call number to find what you need. However, it can be helpful if the library has more than one edition of the same title. If we follow this call number to the shelves, we should find this book, Nursing Diagnosis in Psychiatric Nursing. Care Plans and Psychotropic Medications by Mary Townsend. If you're looking for a specific book, be sure to double check that you found what you need, and if you're struggling, let us know. Since call numbers also group together books on similar topics, you can use these numbers to browse the shelves if you're not exactly sure what you're looking for, or if you have a book in mind but want to see what else we have on the same topic. And that's it! Now you know how to read a call number and how to use it to find exactly what you need on the library's shelves. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. The other videos in the series will introduce you to the library's website, teach you how to create a search strategy, and more. We've also created a handout that you can use to guide you through finding library materials using a call number.
If you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.